Hello and welcome to Ferrari Models Kit Review Time. Something a little bit different. Today we've got the Martin Baker 1 9th scale 3D printed ejection seat by Scale Model Developments. Now I met Chris, the owner of the company, uh, a few weeks ago back at Scale Model World and spoke to him really, really briefly. Um, but again, it's one of those ones I want to deal with him more and get to know him more and everything else because he seems to be a really, really nice guy. But he started up a small little company doing 3D printed aftermarket parts. And this particular seat, I remember, it's available from 1 4 scale right the way up to 1 9th scale again. So various ones. But he set up a small little 3D printing business, printing these ones off. And again, what I love about this is that as far as I'm concerned the the small cottage industries as we call them or mom and pop if you're in the US and things like that are the backbone of our hobby it was these companies especially back in the 90s uh, which really pushed on uh, things by developing small little aftermarket parts that we could use in our models to take them to that next level so you'd have really talented guys who would scratch build the part then we would take a resin mold off of it and then we would take resin poles from that mold and then sell them in very very limited quantities so the money was all really is going around in that one little circle if you like not these huge big port you know corporate groups and things like that but literally back to the people who were developing it and working on it in the first place and that's where I can see 3d printing going because to be honest I jumped on the 3d printing bandwagon if you like a few months ago and immediately I've been blown away by it not only has it really opened my eyes to the world that's out there and the massive amount that's available but also how easy it is. I always thought it was like alchemy. It's this big, you know, myth and, you know, molding's a problem. You get missed molds and it takes forever. Yeah, it still takes forever, but actually it's pretty straightforward. So I've got on with that one. But it's really nice to see now we're getting new pop-up companies starting from small individuals who are literally having a go at this and trying to do it. So we've got some really incredible developers out there and designers who are designing this stuff in 3D. And then we've got other guys who are coming on and turning it into a small little business with you. And Chris, over at uh, Scale Model Developments, he's definitely one of these ones. Anyway, enough yapping, let's get into the box. So down in the box we have a little one to cut into, and I haven't seen this one. I've seen it at Telford, but this is my first time of seeing it actually in the box. So as you can see, we've got some very nice stickers, QR code there, so you can, uh, if you don't get the glare, you can uh, take a scan, but I will put full details up as well. Little thank you card, a little instruction sheet, so we've got little instructions about it, which is on very nice glossy paper of what you're going to need to do and getting it off the uh, the framework and all the rest of it. Some of the details on there. And then in here somewhere will be the said item. So again, here it is in all its majesty. So we're in a very nice bag. So we'll just try and get him out of the bag. So at the moment you're thinking, oh my God, look, it's attached and it's, you know, it's in here, I'll tell you what, but that's not easy to get them in the bags. But here we have the seat done. So this is literally how they come off the mold. If you didn't know, what happens is they're actually printed upside down. This is your resin down in here, and it slowly grows out of the resin and it comes up, all right? Then it goes off and it gets washed uh, in some little bit of IPA and all the rest of it, and then it's actually put into a curing machine which actually sets it hard, and this is rock hard solid resin, as you can see just down in here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come along and basically you're gonna pull off. Now some of these will literally just pull away very straightforward like this. In other times, you are gonna to need to come in. And again, this is where you get used to it. If you've done 3D work before, you'll know you can just come in here and tease these off. And in some ways, it's nice if they come off a little bit easier in the various bits. And we've got a bottle there, it's gonna to have to go back on, but this one just comes straight back on and glues down in there. All right, but normally you would take your time to pull all of these little guys off really, really carefully. And the thing is, we have got hoses and lines coming down in here. So I don't wanna yank this clean out the mold really quickly because the thing is, we will tear these off and I've already taken one off the back I shouldn't have. But really, I'm just trying to show you a little bit of what we got down in here. And I will show you it built up in a moment. But you can see the quality of this is absolutely beautiful absolutely gorgeous. So you've got all that riveting, you've got really nice rolls on the harnesses with all the layers right the way through. 
and everything in and it is absolutely gorgeous all right so as you can see you're literally just going to carry on working down in here i can probably get a few more of these little ones off the back <coughs> all right and you can just come in and very delicately pull all of these off which will show what they're doing and again we've got some ones down in here i'm just a little bit mindful of what's what all right but you can probably see even on the back it is absolutely gorgeous all right so again we've got these ones coming down in here so i don't want to go in here ripping at it until i know exactly which ones are a what all right and where we're going with them but again there is full instructions of how to get it off in there once you're done it will hopefully look just like this all right so here's the little website over there it's 55 pounds obviously you can go over to scale model developments.co.uk and you can buy one but we've got lots of pictures down in here as well and you can see this one's all painted up exactly how it is looking very much the part so again some really really nice details on this one as you can see once you go in there we've got pictures of the real thing we've got pictures of it once it's out the mold we've got the pictures down in here with it all made up and there it is on the stand and all of these things all right so as you can see really very very nice indeed as you can see beautiful work on all of those ones so if you are interested in some of this stuff from chris and again he's got lots of other things as well if you pop into the shop obviously at the moment we've just got the ejector seat but i know he's working on other projects as well so we've got this particular one it's down in 144th scale or we've got it in 132nd we've got it in 148th We've got it in one seventy second, and we've got it in one night scale as well for the big old scale for it as well. But again, it's just a little bit of something that's going on. And I'm really excited for him on this particular project. I think it's a great little project to get involved with. I think this is something we can all, can all get behind these smaller companies producing this stuff. I know from personal experience speaking to you guys, not everyone wants to get involved with resin printing. And I get it because it does take up a lot of your time. It's a bit smelly. It's very messy and it's not for everyone at the end of the day but again if you want to you can support these guys and go through because also don't forget with the price of these things it's just just not the cost of the resin although to be honest that's probably a good i would say at least a 10 20 hour print on something that detailed all right but also you've got that thing about obviously the guy who's designed it all the time and money it's gone into that and various things and i think it's just something we can get back and again with the speed that this can be done compared with other things it's one of those things that we can get resin and aftermarket parts you know they take quite a long time to come through 3d printed as long as it takes to print and you're off and good to go and again changes can be made on the fly digitally on the screen so if you wanted to make adjustments to them and things like that to improve them and feedback and things you can do that all on the fly and then just keep printing them off straight away as well which i think is absolutely fantastic and there we have it that's got it all out all right about five minutes to get it all off taking your time just making sure you're really delicate around some of these because obviously you've got some lots of little things down in here still got some more to take off to be honest so these up in here so literally the spine bits you just come in with a a, poor, a delicate pair of snips if you like and you can just clip these off and then obviously you can sand these out i'll just give them a little rub and again i've just missed these ones just down on here so again we just very delicately just come in and then hopefully you can get them all off there we go that's better you can just do to be honest once you've got the bulk of it out the rest of them come out really nicely but hopefully you can see the quality of that now right the way through even down the back here the entire height of it and that will make an absolutely beautiful standalone coat of primer and then get in there and paint and weather as you normally would but as you see fantastic details right the way through on that one looking absolutely fantastic so there you go if you want something a little bit bigger than normal something a little bit different all right a little bit of solo display as well that obviously you've got this option but I said before you can go off and get them in the smaller ones and obviously put them in your models Thank you.